Good morning. This is Professor Adolfo Arevalo, and uh, we're uh, now uh, going to discuss the supply function. Last time, we already have discussed about the demand function, and we actually have our uh, introduction of uh, the mathematical linear equation. So, if we're going to review what we have uh, learned the last time, um, the functional expression between the dependent and the independent variable can be uh, expressed through the linear equation, specifically in the form of slope-intercept form. That is to say, uh, the linear equation uh, y is equal to a plus bx or y is equal to a minus bx is the slope intercept form of the linear equation. Now, since we no longer make use of y and x as the letters to represent the dependent and the independent variable, we will now make use of quantity and price or uh, Q and P letters that would represent the dependent and the independent variables respectively. So if we are to uh, translate this uh, functional expression between Q and P to the slope intercept form of linear equation, we now have quantity equals to A minus BP for demand equation and quantity is equal to A plus BP for the supply equation. Now, last time we have uh, covered um, the definition of the slope for a given linear equation. The slope as we have uh, defined last time, measures the change in the dependent variable with respect to the change in the independent variable. And uh, when the relationship between Q and P is direct, then the sign of our slope is positive. So given this uh, supply equation, Us is equal to A plus BP, we have here these uh, parameters of A and uh, B. B being the slope and A being the uh, Q intercept. Now, suppose that we have a slope value of 10 over 3. What does the, this slope uh, represents. Since the slope has a numerator of 10 and the denominator of 3, we have last time uh, considered in our discussion that the numerator st stands for the change in quantity and the denominator stands for the change in price. So the slope equal to 10 over 3 means that for every increase in price by 3 pesos, quantity supplied increases also by 10 units. Now, let us suppose to have this uh, supply equation given by Qs is equal to 10 plus 5, 5p. Sorry. Qs is equal to 10 plus 5p. So, as you can see, there is that slope value of 5 over 1. And uh, obviously, the sign of the slope is positive, denoting a direct relationship between the price and the quantity supplied. So, how can we now interpret this value of slope equal to 5 over 1? It simply means that for every increase in price by one peso, quantity supplied also increases by five units. But what about if the value of A is uh, 10 units? 
what does this uh, a value equal to 10 means? A, which is the Q intercept, can be uh, presented as the value of quantity supplied when the price is zero. So quantity supplied is 10 when the price is zero. Now, let us have uh, this problem. Given the supply equation, determine the quantity supplied of the commodity when the selling price per unit is 10 pesos. So if the price is 10 pesos per unit, the seller will be willing to uh, sell 60 units in the market. So to uh, compute this, we simply make use of uh, the supply equation and uh, substitute the given price of 10 pesos to the P of the equa equation. So by substituting uh, for 10 pesos to P, we now have QS is equal to 10 plus 5 times 10. So that it will equal to 10 plus 50 and therefore the quantity supplied is equal to 60 units. So when the price is 10 pesos per unit, quantity supplied is 60 units. Now, what about if the price is set as 5 pesos per unit? So let us have here this equation. Given the supply equation, determine the quantity supplied of the commodity when the selling price per unit is 5 pesos. So again, we can uh, substitute the given price of 5 pesos to the P of the supply equation. So that QS is equal to 10 plus 5P. Substituting uh, the value of 5 to the P equation will become 10 plus uh, 5 times 5. And uh, simplifying, it will give us a value of 35 units. So the price or the quantity supplied rather is 35 units when the price per unit is 5 pesos. Now, let us present this uh, equation in a tabular or graphical form. So, take note that we have two equations given here. Uh, the first equation is QS equal to 10 plus 5P, and the second equation is QS is equal to 10 plus 25 over 5P. In fact, these two equations are the same. We just modify the uh, value of slope. But since 25 over 5 is equal to 5, then these two equations are the same. Now, to the left side, we have here a table uh, made up of two columns, P and QS columns. Now, on the left side also, we, also, we have another table with and uh, it started from P. We can actually start from the price of zero for the second table, the, the table to the right. Anyway, so here let us uh, refer to the first table. This is the supply schedule. And in uh, uh, preparing the, the supply table, we will always start from the value of A and then move to interpret the value of B for the slope. Now, since A is equal to 10, it means that when the price is zero, quantity supplied is equal to 10. That's why in our first row of the uh, supply table, we have a paired value of zero and 10. Zero and 10 actually represents the value of A in the supply equation, that is, the price is zero, quantity supplied is equal to 10 units. Then we will interpret 
the given value of slope. Since the slope has a value of 5 over 1, it means that for every increase in price by 1 peso, quantity supplied also increases by 5 units. So in the second row of our table, we have here a given price of 1 peso because that is how much our price has increased. And so, uh, from, from one, from zero. And so, the corresponding quantity supplied is 15 units. 15 because according to our slope, for every increase in price by one peso, quantity supplied also increases by five units. So, the original uh, quantity supplied is 10. And because of the increase in the price by one peso, quantity supplied by five, so we now have... 15. 10 plus 5 is 15. So, uh, increasing farther our price by 1 peso, the price now will uh, increase from 1 to 2 pesos. I mean, for every increase in price by 1 peso, so Originally, the price was 1 peso. The quantity supplied is 15 units. Increasing farther the price by 1 peso, the price now becomes 2. And so, quantity supplied now will increase by 5. So, 15 plus, plus 5 is equal to 20. If we increase farther price by 1 peso, originally if the price is 2 pesos, we now increase by 1 peso to make it 3 pesos per unit. So, Correspondingly, the quantity supplied becomes 25 because the original was what? Was 20 units. Increasing it by 5 will now become 25 units. So on and so forth. Now to the right side of our screen, there is another table. And we're supposed to uh, start it from the, the inter, uh, in, intercept of 0 and 10. But... Uh, what is shown here is uh, on the first uh, row of the table is 5 and 35. Uh, please insert a uh, value of 0 and 10 from it. So that this time, uh, interpreting the second uh, equation, 10 plus 25 over 5p, um, it only... Uh, means that we modified our increases in prices instead of it increasing uh, by one unit we uh, made it to increase by five units so every time it increases by five units quantity supplied will also increase by 25 units now how come that uh, the slope uh, changed from the value of 5 to the value of 25 over 5 because the original value of slope was 5 over 1 now if we uh, increase the denominator or every time we increase rather the price by 5 units so what we have to do is simply just to multiply the denominator by 5 and because we have multiplied the denominator by 5, we will also multiply the numerator of the slope by 5. So the numerator will now become 25. 5 times 5 is 25. The denominator is uh, 1 times 5 is equal to 5. So that the slope now, after multiplying 5 to both the denominator and the numerator for the slope, we now have a slope value of 25 over 5. So, if we prepare a table for this second equation, uh, QS is equal to 10 plus uh, 25 over 5P, we start from the intercept value of 0 and 10, and then we move to the next row, which is 5, and the corresponding uh, quantity supplied is 35. Increase, uh, every time we increase uh, price by 5 pesos, quantity supplied also increases by 25. That's why when the price is uh, 
10 pesos, what it is supplied now is 60. Because 35 plus 25 is equal to 60, so on, uh, so on and so forth. So notice that uh, along the supply curve, we uh, started from the Q intercept, which is a paired value of zero, or, or rather, which is a paired value of 10 and zero. Quantity to supply is 10 when the price is zero. So as we move upward the uh, supply curve, as quantity, as the price rather increases, quantity supplied also increases. So you will notice that the supply curve is an upward sloping curve. So uh, this is uh, how we uh, prepare the table and plot the curve of the supply equation. Thank you very much. The next uh, video that I will present is on market equilibrium.